Good morning. Welcome to your daily dose of God time. Uh, We've been talking all week long about this issue of faith and belief. And uh, so far we've learned that you can't generate faith on your own. It's a gift of God. And, And that faith comes from hearing God speak. And that God speaks. How does God speak to us? He speaks to us through his word. Well, uh, let's take it a step further. What's the sign of faith? What's the sign of faith? How do you know if you have faith? How do you know if you're living a life of faith? That's a great question, isn't it? I mean, so so many of us live in doubt. We, we wonder, okay, am I really okay with God? Am I not? You know, God doesn't want you to live in uh, paranoia. He, he wants you to live with the assurance. I mean, Faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So so this morning, I, I want us to think about the sign of faith is obedience and service. A person can claim to have faith, but if their faith does not produce a transformed life of obedience to God and sacrificial service to God, they don't have real faith no matter what they say. James 2.14 says, What good is it, my brothers, if someone says he has faith but doesn't have works? Can that faith save him? So also, faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. The truth is, you cannot separate authentic faith from total obedience. This morning, our text in Romans, uh, we see the inseparable link between faith and obedience. In Romans 10, 16, and 17, it says, But they have not all obeyed the gospel, for the Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what he's heard from us? So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. Paul's point is Israel, by and large, is not obeying God. And the reason they're not obeying God is because they're not believing God. It's the same problem Israel had when God told them to enter the promised land under the leadership of Moses and they refused to go in and conquer the land. The problem was unbelief. In Hebrews 3, 14 through 19, it says, For we've come to share in Christ, if indeed we hold our original confidence firm to the end. As it said, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. For who were those who heard and yet rebelled? Was it not all those who left Egypt led by Moses? And with whom was he provoked for 40 years? Was it not with those who sinned and whose bodies fell in the wilderness? And to whom did he swear that they would not enter rest, but to those who were disobedient? So we see that they were unable to enter because of unbelief. Wow. So so belief is what allows you to enter, right? Remember John 3, 16? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever would believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Yeah. So, so that's what gets us in. If we place our faith, if we, and we know we have faith because we do what he asks. Jesus even said to us, uh, obey my commands and you'll abide in my love, even as I've obeyed my father's commands and abide in his love. So just as we said Sunday, belief equals obedience unbelief equals disobedience. They're even the same word. So as you go through the day today, I want you to think, okay, what is it that God would have you to do today? What is it that God would have you do? And and, and let me just give you two real simple beginning points, right? Jesus was once asked, what's the greatest commandment? You know what he said? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And then he said, the second is like unto it. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you don't know what to do today, you can start right there, and I bet you're going to get it right. Let me me pray for you this morning. Father, thank you so much that you meet us where we are, that you love us, and that, Father, if we will um, choose to believe in you and, and we will allow you, Father, to transform us, then, Father, there will be this incredible thing in our lives that we will know we belong to you because our desire to serve you has changed and we want to be obedient. We want to sacrifice on your behalf. So thank you, Father. Thank you for transforming us and making us brand new. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I hope you have an incredible day based upon what we just said. Love God. Love one another. Now, go be obedient by being salt and light. Have an incredible day.